Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to another demonstration by PlumberStock.com. Today we have the Milwaukee Pro Press Tool. If you've never heard of one, it is a great device that allows plumbers to get jobs done with no soldering, no flux, and it is very convenient and quick and easy. It is the must have for any professional plumber's kit, and we're here today to show you how to use one. Don't go away. Today we're going to do a demonstration of installing a Moen Positemp valve with a Milwaukee press tool. If you're unfamiliar with a press tool, essentially instead of using soldering and flux and all those types of things, you just have a fitting like this where it has a O-ring inside and the tool fits around the area here and it compresses the o-ring and the copper around the pipe and it creates an incredible seal. It's time saving and much easier to do especially when you're dealing with uh, sensitive parts that you're soldering like I would have to remove the valve out of here because it's plastic and if it heats up then obviously it's not going to work with this valve i've actually already put four fittings on but i wouldn't have to solder at all and what we're going to do today i'm just going to set all that up for you and then show you how the tool works it's uh it's really amazing uh, talking about the tool here we have the press tool of course it's battery powered love milwaukee And it's, it's real simple. You have heads that are different sizes. This is the half inch size that fits nicely around the fitting. And we're going to be going over the tool and how that works. And you'll see how simple that, that process works. I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration on the shower spout. When we fit the pipe, we want to make sure that it's slid all the way in and it's seated before we crimp because obviously we want a good seal. When you're pushing, make sure that you're pushing evenly so that you don't cut that O-ring. It goes in pretty smoothly. So we'll go ahead and take the tool. Uh, the, the jaws open just by pushing down on the side here. When we seat the tool, it has these notches so it's very easy to line up and again i'm just going to push in to make sure that it's seated well and then i'll go ahead and pull the trigger and it's done very quick you'll notice that it uh, definitely made a, a strong seal on there You'll see on the pipe that it actually has, it's almost like a hexagon where it's actually gone in and pressed very well in there. Now this is, it, it is on there for good. It's not coming off. That is how we're going to seal it. But you'll notice that it was <laughs> much quicker. I didn't have to heat it up, didn't have to solder. Notice this valve, it's obviously wider than what the pipe is. When they pre-drilled it, my previous valve was much narrower, plus the size of these valves is making it wider. As long as these fully seat and then we crimp, it's gonna seal. If this is at an angle and then we want to crimp it, it's not gonna fully seal. We wanna make sure that that's fully seated before we crimp that. We want to make sure that that's all the way down. OK, 
Okay, so now we are set up. I have the elbows in. Uh, just a reminder, these are Vega press fittings. That's what we recommend. And so I've basically, you know, dry fit everything. I'll go ahead and start with the spout and show you how that goes. And that is done. Go ahead and go on the left side here. Again, I'm making sure that it's pushed down all the way. Do the other vertical. Obviously, you don't want to get your fingers anywhere close to this one is pinching, the machine will win. One thing I wanted to mention is using these fittings over soldering. Another advantage is you can have water in the pipes. So typically we've got bread or something that we've got that we stuff in there to get that last bit of moisture out of the pipe. With these fittings, they could be wet. In fact, where water is flowing through, not in high pressure, but it's, it's dripping as they're putting it on, they make sure that there's a good fitting that's pushed in and then they press and so you get a nice tight seal that way. We'll go ahead and move on to the other side. You may have noticed that if I don't have it completely lined up, it will self-align. I'm not holding it so tight that it's not going to go in the proper place. So there we have it. We have everything attached. Didn't need to heat anything up. I didn't have to worry about burning like this other person did. Didn't have to worry about melting plastic that was inside the valve. Everything is secure and connected very well. Thanks for watching this demo from Plumber Stock. If you enjoyed this demo, leave us a like and tell us what you think. We have other useful tutorials and demos on our channel, so make sure you check those out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more useful product demonstrations and reviews. We have a lot of content coming your way. And be sure to follow us on social media at Plumberstock on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.